Hi everyone, welcome to the homestead. I'm Kim and this is the homestead. We're doing a walk around today to show you some of the things that we didn't show you the other day. <laughs> so let's do this. I'll just walk you around today and show you a bunch of messes and things that still need to be done, I guess. Uh, so anyhow, here is the swimming pool that we got to do a uh, water catchment system with. There's some more tomato plants and petunias and marigolds and stuff that still need planted. Um, I still haven't got the comfrey planted that I got from uh, Jenny's farm stand, uh, Stiver's Homestead little shop that they have there if you haven't been there and you're local or you're coming by the area you should definitely swing by it is so cute and they've got a lot of great stuff there um let's see so we have look here i still don't even have these broccolis planted yet look at this big old mess here we've been working on getting rid of this mess little by little <laughs> and i think we're just going to just load it all up and take it to the dump be done with it because we've been working at it little by little for quite some time and I mean the pile has went down to hardly nothing but compared to what it was but shoo, it's still a mess still a mess that needs cleaned up let's move on to something new and the fencing is still laying here so I did not get the new duck and chicken I mean turkey and chicken pens finished yet oh hopefully tomorrow we're in the main garden and I didn't get a whole lot done today. I got uh, some of the rows cleaned out and nothing planted, but the rows look a lot better, nice and clean. Well, I still need to wash them down, but because um, I don't know when it's supposed to rain next. I could just wait for the rain to do it, but I do like it looking really pretty. <laughs> and that's as far as I got. I still needed three more, three more rolls to clean up. We have Little's four-wheeler here. It's a Coleman 125cc. Um, it came from Tractor Supply. Oh, the cows. <laughs> and, uh, and so it is not running right now. So I'm going to have to put a new carburetor on it. I ordered it. It's already here. I just need to get around to doing that. So that's on the things to do list too. Here I was filling in a hole. I don't have it all the way filled in yet. I still need a couple more uh, trailer loads full of dirt brought down. And then I need to plant some grass seed in it. But I've been meaning to do this for a while. I originally dug this out because I was going to make a raised bed right there. And since then I changed my mind. And the dirt washed on down in the yard. And just, you know, kind of became part of the rest of the yard. And so then there wasn't anything to put in this hole. And so, um, yeah, finally getting that taken care of. Over here in the side garden, um, in the front, uh, Billy, Billy and William over at Permapasture Farms. I love your channel and love the homestead, honey, Michelle. <laughs> and I was so excited to learn about the compost way that you do compost. Yeah, that didn't make much sense. La, 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 la. <laughs> Leave it in and keep rolling. Um, so anyways, I did it exactly the way you said and I failed this is what is left of that mess uh, and I turned it and turned it and turned it and it just did not work I have no idea what I did wrong <laughs> I did not use city water um, I, no waters with chemicals in it at all uh, we waited until the grass was tall to mow it so that we would have enough green to go in it we used spent hay with with animal manure in it and it just did not work out try try again though it is my plan to give it another try <laughs> i won't give up that easy billy <laughs> uh, so i'm gonna keep trying it and hopefully i get it working right okay let's look over here this is a newer bed you can still see the um 
landscape fabric still on the roll there. So let me turn you around this way. Some little cherry bushes. The cherries have grown like crazy since we planted them. But this roll is comfrey. Again, a big thank you to Permapasture Farm for putting their videos of comfrey out. Thank you, thank you so much. I have had one comfrey plant barely surviving where I had planted it for years. And I don't know what made me not separate it, <laughs> but when you were separating the uh, comfrey roots, and I thought, huh, well, I'm going to see if mine is big enough to do that with. And look, it was. All of this came from that one plant. I broke it up into, into little pieces. Now, it wasn't a great plant. It had been struggling for years. Um, these first ones, oh, well, that one is growing. So that's a, that's a win. This one looks like it might have died off. This one has... One little leaf coming up. There's that one. This one is doing great. It's actually got a flower on it. Two, well, several flowers on it. That one didn't survive. This one's doing great. Great, great, great. Even better, even better. Doing great. And they all have comfrey coming up. So, once they come up more, then I will... I'll put some more holes here and, and uh, put some dirt in. So you can't grow anything here in the ground because it was all graded. So it's all big rocks and just hard clay. I mean rocks like that and bigger. <laughs> so one step at a time, one step at a time. But I plan on um, making another roll or two. <laughs> because I um, got all those uh, comfrey starts from Stiver's Homestead, so I've got to get them planted. I just need to make a bed, which I say, oh, I just need to make a bed, as if it's that easy, quick and easy for me to get anything done around here. <laughs> We've got one strawberry plant that made it in the swimming pool thing. Um, these were some extras that I didn't have any room for, so I threw them in this pool. And here's another pool. And it looks like something has the, knocked the bird over. This is just a temporary thing. Um, they're starting to get some strawberries on them. And I'll fix that later when I'm not on camera. All right. These cherries, unless the birds got them, this is the first year that they've had a couple cherries on them, and I do them now. So the birds got them. Um, hopefully, next year we will actually be able to get cherries. Well, that one was a cherry, but nope. Okay, moving on, moving on. So, here is a new bed of strawberries. I've got a bunch of strawberries on them, not ready, but um, getting there. Oh, there's some that may be ready. But I have bird netting on it. Let me back up and show you. <clears throat> So I don't remember how long this bed actually is. And of course it's not perfectly straight because I do nothing straight. <laughs> and that's okay. I'm okay with it. I have accepted that about myself a long time ago. <laughs> so we put PVC hoops in and put some bird netting over. I don't have it just perfect, the bird netting. I meant to come back out here and fix it to where you could just pull one side up, pick the strawberries, pull it back over and you're done. We love strawberries and our child loves strawberries and we hardly ever get any because he is constantly picking and eating the strawberries. Um, a few years ago I had 300 strawberry plants and we were lucky if we got one little tiny handful of them out of the whole season. He is just strawberry nut 
Yes. There is a big mess. Um, as you see, I just put this in this year. And the weed barrier fabric was not there before that. So all those weeds were growing up. And because I don't do anything straight, that weed barrier doesn't cover all of that weed spot there. So I'm going to have to run it. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to run another piece through there. I keep getting choked up. It's so hot out here. I'm drying out. Um, this is another potato bed, which we did not get around to planting. We've got a volunteer right there, though. And there's a couple more volunteers on down through there. We made this wide enough to be able to ride the riding mowers through with, uh, um, with the wagon on so that we can harvest and just pull on out with it. Um, and I wanted plenty of space because if I decide to plant something different that sprouts out more, then there would still be plenty of room to drive the riding lawnmower. There's some more potatoes. And there's another roll of potatoes. Um, which we did not get covered with the black stuff. Um, we put too much hay and I told Mark, I said, I can't get this... Uh, this landscape barrier over it by myself you're gonna have to help and then we got busy on different things and then it was too late because they were growing up so tall I'm like <clears throat> I'm not gonna break them to cover it so I guess that roll just stays uncovered this year <laughs> and here is a new bed and it it's new this year and um, we have onions growing in it uh, the only possible way that I can ever even grow onions. <laughs> I have tried it many times and failed many times. <clears throat> and the only way I can grow great onions is just do it straight in hay with just a tiny little bit of, of compost right when you're putting the bulb in. That's it. If I do it any other way, I fail tremendously. So, they are doing great. You can see some of them are following over. They've got uh, escapes on the end. And uh, so, yeah, they're doing great. Now, this roll does go back further. Um, I didn't uh, burn any holes in it um, because I wasn't sure if I was going to make this entire roll an onion roll later on. Um, that's all the onions that I had for this year, so um, I didn't want to go ahead and make holes and then just weeds grow up through it and everything. So I left it solid, and um, I'm still debating on whether I want to um, go ahead and make this an entire roll of, of onions by going ahead and burning the holes and labeling the thing so that I know this is where it goes. And do an entire row. Not sure. <clears throat> I uh, plan on putting another roll right down through here from this roll of potatoes. This first roll uh, <laughs> closest to the road there. I'm um, going to bring it out the same length as the onion roll all the way to the end here. And uh, plant some stuff in it. I'm not quite sure what yet, <laughs> but I'm going to have to get on top of that because I'm already running behind on all the other garden stuff. So um, maybe do it for fall crops. Um, maybe some uh, some uh, Brussels sprouts or broccoli or something like that. I'm not really sure yet, but I do also plan on doing the exact same thing with the third roll of potatoes up here and bring it on out. <clears throat> the reason is we use this yard for absolutely nothing. Um, it's sloped and we don't come out here. <laughs> and the only time we come out here is to mow it or weed eat it or plant something over there. So why not just go ahead and make more raised beds out of the weed barrier cloth and uh, plant some stuff. But, uh, yeah, so that is the goal. And I would like to do them all in cinder blocks so that uh, I just never have to redo it again. <laughs> but, um, you know, everything costs money. 
and so I've already got the weed barrier so why not just go ahead and use it I can always block around them later on I would like it to be the walkways to be leveled out though so that they're not at an angle but it's really not that big of a deal maybe as we get older <laughs> it may become a bigger deal but it's not as of right now so we've seen the potatoes we've seen the onions and the strawberries and cherries and comfrey and the failed attempt at a compost pile <laughs> so let's go see what else we can get into Alrighty, it is a beautiful day, but let me tell you, I have been getting choked up today. I don't know if the pollen is thick in the air today or if it's just something with me. I do not have a cold or anything. I just, um, a little, getting a little choked up. Okay, so here we go is my, um, sweet potato bed. <laughs> We started to prep it, and then that's as far as it got, so it definitely needs work, and my sweet potato slips are, have been ready to go in here for a while, so I need, I do need to add some more compost to it, and uh, get the rest of that cleaned out. This was a big raised bed here that I grew carrots and, and uh, jalapeno peppers and stuff like that in. It always did a great job, but the cows came through. And broke it apart now it's not all their fault because it was a wooden bed and that's why I refuse to build any more of them because you keep you just have to keep redoing them ever so many years and I don't want to have to keep redoing stuff so I would rather have them in cinder blocks and never have to redo it other than just topping it off with some compost <laughs> so um, that is a mess that needs cleaned up Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a little walk around today because I didn't get a whole lot done outside today. I had great plans, it just didn't work out that way. So we did a little walk around. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you're new here, welcome and please leave a comment. Let us know that you just found our channel. Uh, to all of our old fabulous friends, we love you. Thanks for watching and y'all have a great day. God bless you.